All right, welcome back. We're going to be talking about wor uh, work again, and uh, specifically, we're going to be solving three pretty simple work problems. And the first problem that we're, we're dealing with says, how much work is done when Allen applies a force of 200 newtons to drag an 80 kilogram crate eight meters across a warehouse floor? Important to remember that the work is done in the direction of the force, which in this case is parallel to the warehouse floor. And of course, if Alan's dragging or pushing the crate across the floor, what he's really doing is he's doing the work against friction, the friction between the crate and the floor of the warehouse. And so the weight of the box has nothing to do with this problem. The Mass of the box has nothing to do with the problem. The only thing that we're concerned with here is the force that he has to apply parallel to the floor and the distance that he is going to push the crate. And of course, the work, because that's what we're going to calculate. So in this first problem, let's go ahead and set it up. We can just use work equals force times distance. The force, 200 newtons, times the distance, and the distance here is 8 meters. So 200 times 8, that gives us 1,600 newton meters, or, of course, we can say 1,600 joules of work. And that solves the first problem. Now, let's take a look at the second problem. It says, refer back to problem one. Well, that means we're going to have to be concerned with the same crate that Alan pushed across the floor. How much work is done by a forklift when it lifts the crate to a shelf three meters above the floor? Well, that's a word that we have to be concerned with because now we're looking at the forklift doing work against gravity by lifting the crate vertically rather than pushing it horizontally across the floor. So in this case, because the, because the forklift is lifting the crate, we need to know the weight of that crate because that's the force of gravity that the forklift has to overcome. So we're going to have to work a, a, a simple problem to begin with. We have to calculate the weight of the crate. And re you recall from a previous lesson that force of weight equals mass times acceleration due to gravity. The mass here is going to be the mass of the crate which from the first problem was 80 kilograms. And we're going to multiply that by the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. And so we get a weight of this particular crate of 784 newtons. And that weight is what the forklift is going to lift against the force of gravity. So that's that's the force that's the force that we're going to use to solve the rest of the problem. So we have the force, we have the distance, we're going to calculate the work. Distance, work, force. So again, we use the equation work equals force times distance. But because we're lifting that box or that crate vertically, that force, remember, is actually the force of weight. You wouldn't have to write that little sub W in there, but you can if you want. The work then is equal to the force of weight, which is 784 newtons, times the distance, and that's the vertical distance. Remember that the work is done in the direction of the force, and this is vertical, so it's 3 meters. So the work is 3 times 784, and that gives us 
2,352 newton meters. And I'm, I'm not rounding this to the correct number of significant digits here. If I did, this number would be uh, 2,400 newton meters, 2,400 newton meters. But I can say it's 2,352 joules. That's the work done by the forklift lifting that crate, that 80 kilogram crate that has a weight of 784 newtons, vertically 3 meters. Force of weight times vertical distance. That gives us the work done lifting the crate, 2,352 joules. Now the next problem says Alan has a mass of 75 kilograms. How much work will he do climbing stairs with a vertical height of 2 meters? So here's the situation. Alan is going to climb the stairs vertically a distance of 2 meters. So here's Alan Alan, with a mass of 75 kilograms, is going to go up the stairs a vertical distance. And that vertical distance is the distance that he's moving his weight through. It's very similar to the problem where the crane or the forklift was lifting the, uh, the crate. In this case, Alan is going to lift his weight a vertical distance of two meters. Now the distance up the stairs, parallel to the stairs, that makes no difference. What's really happening in this problem is he is lifting his weight two meters. So we have to figure out first of all what his weight is. And we can do that the same way we found, we found the weight of the, of the crate up here in the second problem. We can find his force of weight equals his mass times the acceleration due to gravity his mass was 75 kilograms times the acceleration due to gravity which is 9.80 meters per second squared and when you work that out you find out that Allen has a weight of 735 newtons that is the weight that he's going to lift vertically that distance force and distance force 735 newtons that's his weight distance 2 meters vertically up the stairs so now we can solve for the work done work equals force times distance and again we're using the force of his weight because it's vertical it's against gravity and that is the weight 735 newtons times the distance, that's the vertical distance, 2.0 meters, 735 times 2 meters is 1,470 newton meters, or again we can say that that is 1,470 joules. And again, I didn't use significant digits there. If I had rounded that up to significant digits, uh, that would be uh, 1,500 joules with two significant digits. And we can talk about significant digits in a little later lesson.